slasher film. It's not really a paintball film, but it does have a pretty cool old school paintball segment. It was made in 1986, same year as Combat Academy. So essentially, it's your typical Friday the 13th. Jason comes back to life thanks to Tommy Jarvis, who appeared in Friday the 13th Part 4 and Part 5. Accidentally bringing Jason back to life in a lightning storm. So Jason comes back to life, looking like a zombie. And he decides to head back to his old stomping ground, Crystal Lake. He kills a few people, like this guy, and that girl, and this guy. And that girl who's a real bitch. And this guy. And that guy. But he doesn't kill the kids. He likes kids. Gotta love that. Psycho killer who won't kill kids. Pretty cool. Anyway, Tommy gets him in the end. You know the story. Put him back into the water. Put a chain around his neck. Like John Cena. The Snacky Show will return after this important message. Back to the first half of the film, the paintball scene. I don't know what kind of guns these are. They're definitely old school. But they're like, I don't know, like Nell Splat 007s or something? If you know what gun this is, leave a comment and I'll make a video annotation. Traditional woods ball using red paint. So it's a pretty cool, fun segment. These four guys, well, three guys and a girl, out there in the woods playing paintball, stalking each other. But yeah, they get butchered, they get chopped up. It's a cool fun old school paintball segment! <laughs> We're doing another Q&A. Q&A 7! You said I answer questions! Okay, let's answer a couple. And I submitted a question! Leave us a response to this video. And you didn't answer my question, Tiger! Starting to think people are trolling me at the end of, this video, at the end of these. Um, the Snarky Show, do you like dogs? I am so not even going to answer that jackass. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you!